He gets off the table, he jumps up, and he goes. And I was like, standing there, and this was my face. Hello, my friend. Hello. <laughs> Fancy being here. I know, right? <laughs> Welcome back to Get Naked with me, Erin Plot, and Dominique Thomason, my partner in crime, aka Strong Hand. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for coming back and joining us. Obviously, we didn't scare you away after the first episode, so we're going to try really hard to do it with this episode, yeah, right? Perfect. Yes, I, I, I like it. I like it. Uh, definitely want to send a huge, huge shout out to the people in Florida uh, who have been affected by Hurricane Ian. Um, definitely our thoughts are with y'all. Um, it's just awful. We barely got anything here, thankfully. Uh, but it did delay us from filming. So we're a little bit late on this one, but we're here. And hopefully if you have an internet connection and you can tune in, we might make you laugh a little through the shit show that you're dealing with. <laughs> Also, this shit show. Right. I mean, this shit show. <laughs> so, more specifically. Right. So at the end of our uh, last episode, we actually asked people if they had questions or things they wanted us to touch on and talk about uh, to send us messages. And people actually did it. Woo. So we're kind of excited about that. Um, so Susan... I'm not going to say your last names because HIPAA or something. I don't know. Does that matter well, here? I mean, if it was on a public forum, <laughs> I then mean, everyone look I up feel Susan. Like, right? <laughs> so we're going to just go with Susan said, uh, what is the best and worst part of your job? And first off, Susan, that was the most vanilla question <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> Ever. So the other questions are better, but we're going to answer Susan's question. So what do you think, Dominique, is the best part of your job aside from obviously me. I mean, working with you, number one. I mean, best, best part. Mm -hmm. I mean, when people come in with issues mm -hmm. and you fix them. That whole God like, complex. The God I know. complex. I mean, it does feel I really, really good. Yeah, absolutely. But on the flip side of that, it's like, if you can't fix them, they don't understand like why, you know, one 45 minute session right? didn't fix 9 million issues. Mm, yes, so like that, yes, that's yes. kind of like the flip side of like the worst part. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I tell people all the time when they come in and I'm like, you know, you do realize like it didn't take an hour to get this way and it's definitely exactly. not going to get fixed in an hour. In like an we hour. can give you a lot of relief, but it's yeah. not going to, you know. Um, I agree. Like best part is pretty much like mm -hmm. the people we work with, our patients and just the change that we're enabled to enact with that. Yeah. Worst part wise, I'm going to go a little more serious. Okay. I don't like being associated with hookers. Um, oh. that's, that's my thing there. I get so irritated because we are, you know, massage therapy in general for, you know, multitude of reasons is associated with like the sex trade. Yeah. And so you get people, it, it's just dangerous, you know, yeah. for us because mm -hmm. you get people who you don't know what their intentions are and they show up and they have these expectations that things are going to happen. And then we're put in positions where we have to deal with a potentially volatile situation. And like, I don't appreciate that. I get super pissy about it. Um, <laughs> You know, there may or may not be injuries involved when, they, you know, because it's just, it's so offensive, it's, yeah. isn't it? It's so yeah. degrading when you're well, like, oh, I'm a massage therapist, yeah. and they're like, so, hey. But also having a name like Dominique. Boom. And being in the massage world like that, like, I mean, it's fine. A little but, bit of pain some, with but, your pleasure. But some people are like, oh, Dominique the dominatrix. Right. Oh, it's going to be. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't tempt me Don't tempt because me. I, I will show you a good time. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's one of those things, too. Like, I cannot even tell you how many times, uh, you know, people have jokingly, oh, so I can get a happy ending. Mm -hmm. And I'm immediately just like, yeah, when your mom comes on shift. And they are just like, what? And I'm like, what? exactly. Like, you wouldn't say something like that. You wouldn't want somebody to say it to your mom. Like, don't say it to me. Like, yeah. don't degrade my job and profession and the things I do yeah. by being like, oh, yeah, so handsies, right? And it's right. like, no, 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 no. You went to no. school for it. Like, you Right. Got I went education. to school to learn how to give a damn good ham job, okay? Like, I <laughs> 
<laughs> you treat that with respect, though. Um, no, I mean, it, it is. It's, it's just ridiculous, yeah. you know. And and I think I speak for a lot of massage therapists who are legitimate mm-hmm. massage therapists that, you know, that is something that really is offensive and drives us nuts. Because, yeah. um, you know, we did go to school for it. I right. had to get licensed. I don't work. Okay, I shouldn't say I don't work in the mall because some of the people who work in the mall are actually licensed, but a lot of them aren't. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, is really annoying because mm-hmm. that gives us a really bad name yeah. and, and just puts us in positions that aren't safe. And, you yeah. know, I don't appreciate that. But then but... you have places, too, that are open until midnight. <sighs> and it's like... Mm-hmm. And truly, I'm like, so... What are you doing at midnight? Who lets them operate? Yeah. This is my... I, I, why are there not sting operations happening, like, all the time in those places? I mean, That's what I, I want to know. Like, I want to throw down, like, on a serious sting operation and just be like, I want to see who comes in here. <laughs> yeah. I really do. Yeah. And then I'm going to be like... Boom, bitches, you're on hidden camera, and I'm going to put this all over the internet. Like, I really do, because, no, it's just not okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that actually kind of ties into our next question from uh, Marcus. And I kind of love that a guy sent this question in, because he's like, so do people ever do weird and or creepy things in session? Yes. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh-huh. Um, so, and I think I mentioned in the last episode that I was going to tell y'all my, the first penile encounter story that I had. And um, it, it's super, it's really funny now, but at the time I was like horrified. I had no yeah. idea what to do. It was like with your fresh baby face and you're right. like, I'm like ah. a brand new baby <laughs> massage therapist. And I'm like, I'm going to do good things and change stuff and then this dude is like helicoptering his penis in my face and I'm like whoa what what you know so I was and this was when I was working from home too so this was actually in my house which is even worse because that's like my space you know and so and my four month old child was sleeping in the next room so he comes in and like you know, I had run a group on and I sold a ton of them and he had actually bought two. And when I like called him to confirm his appointment and to like kind of suss him out, he was just like, yeah, I've never had a massage before. And I'm like, well, that's cool. You know, it's a little odd. You brought two because what if you hate it, right. you know, but all right, whatever. It's group on. You can get yeah. your money back. Yeah. So he shows up and he's like super like weird energy, like super nervous and like very like, and I'm, I'm so like, guys, I'm such a fucking idiot. I was like, oh, he's, he's just nervous. Cause he's never had a massage. Yeah. Like, of course he's nervous. It's cool. So I like take him in, I'm telling him what to do, you know, and I'm just like, I'm going to leave the room. So you take off what you're comfortable with and everything. If you want to leave stuff on, it's cool. I'll work around it. Like what else? Yeah. So I step out of the room. I, you know, wait a few minutes. I know and where this is going. I, yeah, I like. knock on the door <laughs> and he's like, oh, come on in. I was like, okay. So I go and it's locked. And I'm like, what? Oh, okay. Okay. So I was like, oh, so, and I'm thinking like I flipped the knob or something like on my way out on accident or he locked it and forgot or something, you know, strange person's house. I'm getting nude. Like whatever. I, I get it. So I was just like, oh, hey, uh, the door's locked. And I'm like all nervous. The door's locked, sir. Um, <laughs> if you'll just unlock it and get back on the table and just let me know when you're ready, you know, I'll, I'll come in. So he opens the door literally while I'm like. Still standing saying there. the things, yeah. you know, and he's stark naked. And okay, first off, don't know what he was bragging about. He was a thin glass of milk, basically, <laughs> like the whitest, blondest guy I've ever seen. And like, I mean, good, Casper was getting back <laughs> on the table, essentially. And he pranced, like he sort of skipped a little, going back to the table. And I'm just like standing there, like, what the fuck just happened to me? And I'm like, Okay, so he wasn't nervous about the massage at all. Obviously, he's very comfortable, like, being naked in front of strangers. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, what do I do? Okay, and he's back on the table under the sheet. Like, nothing happened at all. And I'm just like... I mean, cool. I, I just got like a drive by ghosting <laughs> by a flaccid penis. And I'm just like, I don't know what just happened impressed. here. I, so You were so impressed. I was <laughs> impressed to the point where I had no words. Yeah. Like, it was just magnificent yeah. you know it's just like wow so I start I start working on him and he's face down you know and I'm working on his back and and he's like wiggling his hips some and I'm just like what is going on with you you know yeah. and he goes oh hold on and he gets off the table I'm not shitting you you guys he gets off the table he jumps up and he goes and I was like standing there and this was my face 
I was like, what the, what the fuck was that? And he goes, oh, my back was like cramping up. So I, I had to loosen it. And I was like, mm. that's what you're here for. Like, yeah. It, this is the second time I've seen this guy's penis and this time in full rotation. And I was like, this is, I don't know what to, I'm at home alone with my daughter. And I'm just like, um, okay. Everything in my being is saying like, no, no go. No, but no. then the slightly sadistic part of me is like, fuck this guy up. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I'm working on him. He's telling me his life story. He apparently works on air conditioning units. What I I don't know. He works in duct work. So he's like upside down a lot with his arms yeah. up. And I'm like, okay, whatever makes sense. You've got a lot of tension in your shoulders. Like, okay. And so I'm working on his legs and he's like grinding the table. Okay. And I'm just like, <sighs> okay. I was like, it's getting really hard for me to ignore the fact that you're a creeper. Like yeah. I'm trying so hard because I'm like, I really want that $15 from Groupon. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore it so hard. Yeah. So he rolls and he's under the sheet and everything. I've not seen his penis again. Thank God. But so he rolls over and the funny thing was like, he never once did he get an erection. Not one time. And I was fully expecting it because yeah. I mean, he was grinding hard on that table. It was like bump and grind. Like he was in the club <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, okay, you know, $15 from Groupon. Like, yeah. this is what I'm thinking. So and I was really that hard up for cash, so don't judge me. Um, <laughs> but so he, you know, and he starts telling me like, oh, yeah, you know, I've been having a lot of pain, um, you know, up, like up in my thighs. And I was like, oh, in your thighs. And he's like, yeah, like the inner, inner thigh. And I was like, really? I was like, like, so kind of like this muscle. And I'm like pointing out his sartorius. And I'm like, you know, right in here. And he's like, no, it's higher. And I'm like, mm. It's higher, huh? One, and he's like, one yeah, muscle in particular. yeah. And I was like, yes, exactly. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's kind of like where my my thigh and my hip connect together, okay. you know. And I was like, oh, your hip flexors. And he's like, um, maybe, maybe a little higher than my hip flexors. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, your groin. And he's like, well, yeah, I guess it has been like you know groinish, you know. And I was like, oh, I can help with that. No worries. Don't worry. It does not feel great. Oh, no. It this did not poor, feel great. This poor this, soul. This, this poor gentleman <laughs> had no idea what I was, the the revenge I was going to enact on his hip flexors. And I just took my very um, pointy, very elbow. pointy, very <laughs> suited to this particular type of sadism uh, <laughs> and just ground it right into mm. those hip flexors. Mm. And he's just like, oh. You know, and I was yeah. like, oh, are you okay? Is that is yeah. that too painful? And he's like, no, no, it's great. Go ahead. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and, you know, people always say it was so good I was walking funny, um, talking about other things. And it was so good he was walking funny <laughs> when he laughed. Um, if he was walking at all. <laughs> oh, he was walking he, very quickly out of my house. He's like, take my $15, and, I'm out And, you know, <laughs> and it was one of those things where I was just like, it, it was so gratifying because even though it was like a situation where I was like, this is horrifying. I was like, this asshole is not going to do this to somebody else. Yeah. So, and I ended up, I had to, because he had a second Groupon. I was like, he's not coming back to my house. Yeah. So I had to send Groupon a whole thing about like what happened. And they were like, absolutely not. We'll cancel his thing. Just refund him the one he did news I was like sure no problem yeah. and then I had to email him and be like sir because of your inappropriate behavior and <laughs> da, 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 da. and I was like is that even gonna work because yeah. I did actually finish you know the session and everything right. and I think a lot of therapists get kind of put in that situation where like you you really are kind of terrified and you know that they are in a vulnerable position on your table, but you also want them to know that right. like you realize what they're doing and you're not putting up with right. it. And like you can really hurt them if you need to, mm -hmm. you know, and disclaimer, I did not like really seriously hurt him. He was fine. Um, <laughs> right. Like just little disclaimer before I started getting a whole bunch of people like that's unethical. Okay. Fuck off. So was his behavior. Okay. Like ethics be damned at that point yeah. because no. Yeah. Um, and then there are the people, well, you should have just ended it right then and there. Yes. Absolutely, I should have. But I was a five-minute-old massage right. therapist, and I was alone in my house, that. and I didn't know if he was going to, like, go 50 shades of crackhead on me, you yeah. know? So I was just like, let me just get this done and let him know that I will fuck him up if I need to, yeah. you know? Get him so. out, and then... 
move on to the next. Right. And you learn from that. You truly do, you know, and, um, it, it's just one of those that I started, <laughs> I started carrying a little aerosol bottle of, um, ammonia. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so I was like, make sure you grab the right lotion. <laughs> but that was my, that was essentially my mace, you know? And yeah. I was like, that's what I'm going to have. So if somebody like comes at me, right. you know, I mean, I can deal with creepy on a table. Like that's not an invitation. Don't creepy on my table. I can deal with that. You just be like, okay, we're done here and walk out. Yeah. But if somebody actually comes at you, which has always been like my biggest yeah. kind of thing, it's like, we leave the room. So that you can get on the table. And in my mind, I'm like, what if they don't get on the table? Right. What if you open the door and they're like <laughs> behind the door, Surprise, you know, or so, yeah. I mean, like, what if they're like, right. And, and it's yeah. somebody who's like really intent on doing something yeah. to you, you know? So it's, it's definitely, I think for us a little bit hair raising in those situations. Yeah. So even, especially when you're in your own home, what a hundred percent, you know, or even in the office, like we try really hard not to leave each other alone um, in the office and everything just because of those situations. We lock the doors when we're in session because we don't want, you know, random, random people coming in. Even if you're just coming in to inquire about an appointment, like it's still disruptive. It's scary. You know, yeah. our clients are very vulnerable on the table as well, and they don't want random people walking in. Right. So, you know, even though we can laugh about it and it's like funny, haha, in this moment, like in that right. moment, it, it really was very, very scary, yeah. you know. And sometimes you get vibes about people too, where you're oh, yeah. like, I don't know about this person. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of feel it out, see where it goes. And a hundred times out of <laughs> 90, you know, whatever that stat is going to be yeah. all the time. It's always, yeah. it's always Trust a thing. Gut. Always, Trust you know, gut. because they always end up doing something and you're like, son of a bitch. Yeah. You know, I should have like, Terry, you let me down, you know, <laughs> I felt, the, I felt the bat tingling, <laughs> you know, right. and it was just like, no, don't do it. Yeah. You know? Golly, yeah. it drives I mean, me nuts. So. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, is it something that you want to say something to them about where it's, you know, you're making me feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. or do you just let it play out? And then if they yeah. continue to act weird or right. It's then oh, I'm, I'm a very, something? I'm a very like, okay, maybe it's just a fluke. Like they don't right. realize they're, you know, doing, cause not everybody is a complete creeper and yeah. this will lead into one of our other questions, but like not everybody is a complete creeper. Some people have, you know, responses they can't really help and things like that. And I feel like if you can verbalize like that is making me uncomfortable yeah. or like I've had people reach out before like while we're having a conversation they're on the table and they reach out and they like grab my arm or they like touch my leg and they're trying to like connect and make a point yeah but at the same time don't fucking touch me yeah. like, like, oh. like don't touch me that's uh, that's a no no <laughs> like this yeah. is not no you know and sometimes they do it on accident and right you're like and you're just like whoa and then you're like, am I about to have to mess right. somebody up? I know. Like, am I about to have to slean you? No. <laughs> but it's it's very much, you know, one of those things we have to be super conscious of and everything. Yeah. And um, But I, I'm a big give them the chance, let them know, like, what the situation is. Like, don't right. touch me or that makes me incredibly uncomfortable. We are not having this conversation. Yeah. You know, all these things. And then if you continue to do this, X, Y, Z, you know, yeah. we're ending the session. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> that is what it is here. you know and we've had to do that before you know we've had to end sessions we've had to walk out we've had to you know get the police involved we've had to have no trespass orders given uh we've had to fire clients that <laughs> oh gosh we've got one therapist here bless her heart she's the sweetest person in the universe and very gentle personality, very calming, definitely not us. Um, <laughs> and she has people get, I'm not even kidding you, like obsessed with her, like ridiculously yeah. obsessed. And it has become a problem in certain instances. And we've had to like fire clients and kind of be like, you know, you, you can't come back because this is, you know, she's told you you're making her uncomfortable. You're still crossing those boundaries that she set and everything. And it is just not acceptable, you yeah. know? So we definitely don't fool around with stuff like that. I try and make this an environment where people feel safe and they mm -hmm. feel comfortable and that they can come to me and be like, this is a problem. And I'm going to be like, I got you, you yeah. know, like I want that. I want my girls and guys eventually, if we have them, you know, to, to come in and be able to tell me that, you yeah. know, and, and I think men have 
issues when yeah. they're therapists as well and they're working on women and you know women are just as nasty and dirty <laughs> as men are yeah if not more so because like <laughs> we can get away with it you know <laughs> and you think it's a guy so he's definitely not going to be uncomfortable with me right. being like raunchy or whatever and some of them are like a hundred percent. Some mm-hmm. of them do, you know, so it's, it's definitely a respect thing and, yeah. and knowing your therapist and having that yeah. kind of relationship with them. Like I can, t- I, you know, I can say all kinds of stuff to you when you're working on me right. because I'm like, it's but I know and you she's personally, right. But personally, I, I think <laughs> you've seen me naked. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a mutual thing. <laughs> she's made me scream like a lot. She's mean. And she hurts me. It's my strong hands. <laughs> your strong hands. Sometimes I'm over there like blinking, help, help, you know. And, so and there's no one around. And it's so, it's terrible. Yeah. She abuses me. Well, you know. I pay her to abuse me. It's that Dominique, <laughs> that Dominique name. That's right. That's exactly right. That's what you it, know. you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. so keeping in tune with our, uh, penile, uh, you know, situation here yeah. are encounters of the penile mm-hmm. kind. Uh, Eliza is, um, she's a massage student right now. And she actually sent me a message <laughs> and I laughed a little bit when I read it because I'm a mean person. And so the first thing that popped into my head was a very not nice response. <laughs> so she said, how do you handle erections during a session? My first inclination, pop that bitch with a gym towel, you know, <laughs> kill it with fire, you know, I don't know. It's just because I'm, you know, that's yeah. that's me. Um, but you know, how do you handle erections during a session? I, I, I usually I don't. You don't handle them. I don't handle them at all. <laughs> Stay away. It's rabid. <laughs> See, I, I, you know, when you're very heavy handed, sometimes that's not an option. It's not. It's not. They're more like, please stop. Stop it. Just stop I, it. I can't handle this. <laughs> yeah. The last thing they're getting is an erection at that point. Unless, yeah. of course, they are, you know, kind of masochistic and, yeah. and enjoy that but, pain. I mean, you know? erections are a parasympathetic response. 100%. It's just like when you wake up and you have morning wood, like it's the same with massage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it happens. Yeah. It's what you do with it is how <laughs> or not with or it. Not. <laughs> you know, if you just leave it alone, then yeah, it's, I mean, it's fine. Whatever, it's gonna go away. Treat it like a rabid animal. You don't touch it. It's out in the daytime. You don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Don't touch it. But you know. like if you're grinding on the table or you're like playing with it, then. We're going to have a problem. If you ask me to touch it, you're going to leave without it is another problem. <laughs> you know, that's Very that's true. another problem. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so Eliza, I guess probably, you know, most therapists who've done it for a little while, yeah. like we've all run into this. This is something that happens all the time. And I do want to say to our male clients, like, there's no, no reason for y'all to be like embarrassed about it or ashamed about it or anything like that. Half the time they're like. They don't even know. Like they're halfway asleep or they're just like "Eh," whatever. And they aren't paying any attention, which is why it happens in the first place. Because, you know, if you're sitting there in your head, like old grandma and panties, old grandma and panties, like you're not, you know, like you're actively trying really hard not to get (laughs) aroused, you know, but if you're halfway asleep and somebody's working on your leg and it's, it's like a lighter touch or whatever, I mean, like your body's going to do what it's going to do. I usually just pile blankets on it and pretend like it's not happening. (laughs) And and usually here we have a lot of blankets, so it's like, you know, so it's just like, "Eh, all right, let's just, we're, just fold a little we're bit. We're going to pretend like that's not <laughs> happening. Or, you know, yeah. if you're an asshole about it, I'm going to pop you with a gym towel. <laughs> a wet one, too. Oh, I'm going to leave no. a mark. <laughs> It'll go away real fast, you know. <laughs> of course, so will my clientele. But <laughs> that's, you know. Or maybe not. Ma- oh, I don't. Do I want that clientele? <laughs> I don't know. Depends on how they turn. <laughs> We're going to send them to Dominique. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> We were talking about that earlier today, how like, you know, we'll just send that to so-and-so. Like, we'll just send them to, (laughs) we'll send them down the street to to the place that stays open until midnight. Like, this is where you need to go, sir. (laughs) Don't darken our door ever again. Like, just don't show up. It's fine. You know? But yeah. 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 Penises. They're great. Men and their penises. (laughs) Like, good night. I swear. But... Here's one. Have you ever been hit on by a lady during a massage? Hmm. No. Ah, really? I mean, no. Oh. 
Maybe, but like I just didn't uh, take just it didn't, seriously. You didn't know we're it. just like, like okay. You're just like, all right, I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I've gotten, like, all kinds of weird, weird offers and, like, women who are like, hey, if you can use your hands that well on my leg, you know, and I'm like, I don't, I'm not sure if that was, like, I don't know if that was appropriate. Like, what? I don't, like, I feel like there's innuendo here, but I'm really not sure. Like, I'm not used to that. Like, I'm used to guys who are very not subtle (laughs) at all. Women, I mean, they've got that subtlety sometimes, you know, and you're just like, I don't, wait, were you just like, what was that, you know? And so, yeah, but then I've had ones that are, that are definitely like very in your face about it. And they're just like. I mean, I've had like, oh, I could take you home with me. uh, And like, I don't take that as like. No, but it's still creepy. I mean, it is a little creepy. (laughs) It's It's still a little creepy. You're going to put me in your basement. Right. And And like, where you're ready for massage. Yeah, wear my skin. (laughs) It's just like. Put the lotion yeah. on the skin. It's like, you oh, know. I take you home. And Wait, actually, we do put the lotion on the skin. We that do. is creepy. That is really creepy. Ooh, now that I think about it, it's all Halloween y. I'm going to hang that on the door outside. Happy Halloween. We put the lotion on the skin. We just have a basket of lotion out there. Oh, that's a good idea. We should definitely do that. Some like oh. dollar store lotion. <laughs> Give somebody some sort of skin inflammation oh, and we'll get good. sued. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Should totally just, just do that. Just put that out there. <laughs> right. Why not? My favorite are the ones that are like, oh, will you marry me? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you're ma- married already. Yeah. Like, I'm not into polygamy. It's not, it's not a thing. It's not my thing. You know, it's not. I don't like to share. Yeah. It's weird. I'm pretty sure Eric would have a problem with that. Maybe you won't. I don't know. I mean, hold on. It depends. If it's another guy, he'd be like, yeah, no. I'm good. I mean, if I'm like, hey, let's bring another lady and like marry her, he'd be like, I mean, she bringing her own money? (laughs) As long as he doesn't have to pay her bills, he's probably okay with it. I don't know. I mean, why not? You know, I don't know. Sorry, honey. I don't. When you watch this later. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be like, wait, what? Poor Eric. So definitely, uh, if you're enjoying the podcast, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Uh, more questions. We like the questions. They're fun. Uh, they really get us thinking about, you know, our experiences and things we want to talk about and everything. Um, indications that we can get serious every now and again. Yeah. Um, but definitely, uh, if you're enjoying it, like us, follow us. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and YouTube for the the visual, you know, just to get all this super Ding. awesome. I know, right? <laughs> like all of this, yeah. you know, or where else is it? Uh, Spotify and iTunes. Yeah. So you can listen to us. Um, if you like you know, the way our voices sound. I know, right? Yeah. Yes. My high pitched, like crazy <laughs> voice because I get all like, yeah. And, and I just start giggling. The right. I know. Time. It's, just, it's <laughs> like you're in a gym class, with like just all girls. I went to an all girls high school, so this is very reminiscent oh. of like just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That sounded like a witch's laugh. Almost Halloween. That was kind of like exactly the experience, <laughs> though. So it's <laughs> very worth it. You know? Fly off her broom here later. Hey, you leave my broom alone. <laughs> like that's that's a, a very classy way to travel. <laughs> it's like a laid back caddy. You know, you just. I like it. My yeah. convertible broom. <laughs> convertible broom. Perfect. <laughs> so anyways, uh, definitely like us, follow us, share us, tell all your friends. Yeah. And uh, what else? Like, I think maybe we are pretty much done for the day. And we'll be back at you with another invitation for you to get naked. Yeah. I'm not going to do it this time. Oh, <laughs> damn it. I was really I was, hoping. I, I got you know, prepared last time yeah. when I wasn't naked at all. Right. So. Right. Yes. <laughs> now she's gotten a little more comfortable. A little more so comfortable. it's coming off. She's That's getting it. a little more naked each time. Yeah. I like it. I like it. It's not creepy at all. Weren't we just talking about creepy stuff? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I know. It's I'm, just you, though. I know. <laughs> it's like Dominique's the one person that I can be like, she won't call sexual harassment against me. So I can be weird. So it's fine. You know? <laughs> My yeah, sister yeah. from another that's mister. Right. I've known you, know. you long enough now, so <laughs> maybe before I'd be like, this lady's crazy. Wait, I don't want to work for her. She scares me. <laughs> She's real weird. <laughs> so come be weird with us. Come get naked and uh, definitely check us out on Facebook. Yeah. And YouTube. Yeah. And our website, www.massagemechanicssc.com. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys. Have a really great week. (laughs) 